Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning into your weekly love reading. This is going to be a reading with some reversals focusing on your love life and I will be including some clarifying cards as well to help better understand the messages that come through for you here today. So I really appreciate you joining me on the channel. If you would like a private reading with me, please feel free to browse the show more section below this video where you'll find prices, services and turnaround time as well as my email all listed below there. Um, otherwise, let's jump into the reading and see what comes up for you, Virgo, for the week ahead. Okay, Virgo, now there could be a Capricorn coming up around you with the Devil card. You've got the hangman reversed, the devil card, the seven of swords and the queen of cups. Okay, now the queen of cups is sitting with her back towards the devil and the seven of swords. This makes me think that there is something that might be going on behind closed doors for either yourself or your person. Um, the the good thing is is that there's there's a, a chapter, an unhealthy chapter that's ending because the devil card is in fact reversed. Uh, and when it's upright, it does speak about overindulging, obsession, control, etc. Um, and that could indicate that you're sort of leaving that behind this week. Um, and all those things that sort of kept you in this upside down face, Virgo, um, upside down phase, I should say, is being turned around. And suddenly he sees the light. Um, I often associate the hangman reversed as someone coming to their senses, Virgo. So if it's you that's sort of been doing some deviant things in a relationship, it's almost like you're understanding what you're doing wrong or you want to steer away from doing unhealthy things in your relationship. Um, Virgo, so what I think this could indicate, if this isn't happening for you, it could be for your person, um, but you're coming into a place where you're coming to your senses, okay, um, about unhealthy behavior, about things going on in your relationship. Are you really coming out of that and coming into a more positive stage uh, in the connection? Okay, so that's very positive to see. There might still be some touchy subjects or some things you're trying to avoid. The Seven of Swords can very much be avoidance. So you might try to be avoiding... Um, avoiding certain things but the good thing is is that he's sort of like not even looking at the devil it's almost like he's trying to avoid the devil so it's almost like you're being on your best behavior virgo or someone that you're connected to is being on their best behavior but let's have a look and clarify what this devil and the hangman reversed is i think it's good news i do i think it's good news for relationships and anything bad that's been going on anything that's sort of been testing Okay, the hangman has come up. Um, he isn't reversed in this deck. The strength card and the wheel of fortune. Okay, very powerful major arcana cards to clarify. Okay, wheel of fortune, things are getting better. Karma is evening itself out. Abundance and better energy is coming into the relationship this week. Um, it's going to strengthen the both of you. Okay, you've got the strength card, um, a card of resilience, a card of leadership. Um, it, it's a Leo, okay, so for some of you it could be a Leo coming through, um, but I feel like this, you notice how he's like, he lays lifeless, so I think I associate death um, with something uh, toxic in the relationship, especially with the devil and the hangman reversed, so I think there is positive changes coming, and I think some sort of unhealthy habit or cycle or experience that's been somewhat reoccurring, um, okay, so it's if it's been cyclical here, if it's been happening time and time again, um, it could be coming to an end. And I think the Queen of Cups is, is showing how happy you will be as a result of this, um, how enlightened, how much more of a positive outlook and warmer energy you're going to be coming into because of that. So I think overall, this is a good outcome. Um, I don't know if you're going to be sort of scaring someone to, to sort of threatening them or scaring them in a way like I might leave you it could be like an ultimatum or you might just be saying you know what you are you are going head to head the peacock and the serpent go head to head so um 
it could be a powerful thing, a powerful shift that takes place here, Virgo, when you're coming into this energy where like you, you look them in the eye and you tell them what it is, but they're going to take it on board. And I do sense that it's going to leave you in a more happier, blissful state, uh, seeing the Queen of Cups. What is this Queen of Cups here? Okay, there's definitely loss, loss associated with something. I often think the Two of Swords, I often, um, what comes to mind is ultimatums with the Two of Swords or like breaking into two parts. Um, Virgo, there might even be someone who's threatening to leave you, but you're okay with it. Um, you are coming up as quite confident. The Five of Chalices, you're okay with losing something, especially if it's an unhealthy thing, Virgo. So some of you are okay with stepping away from something here, um, and you'll be okay. The Hangman is like, we think, um, you th we think we're going to be in a very deep, dark state, which is oftentimes the case, but something has changed within you, um, Virgo. And I think if this was to happen, I think you'll be okay. You'll bounce back because the strength card is resilience and the seven of pentacles. You'll find your way to grow and change and flourish from losing something if you decide to let go. Um, but it could also be losing or saying goodbye to something in the relationship that was hard to, um, hard to move forward with. So you're saying goodbye to that or that person is saying goodbye to it. And then you're going into blindly into the next phase. But there's growth here around you, Virgo. So that's very positive. Um, you might be at, at a somewhat delicate stage in your connection because of this. So it's almost like you want to tread lightly. You don't maybe want to make a huge deal out of it. Or you just want to sort of test the waters and see what happens moving forward. Um, but yeah, regardless of what's coming up here, I think it is pointing to... I think it is pointing to you being able to move on and you okay, you being okay with loss, whether it's the loss of a relationship, the loss um, of an unhealthy cycle within the relationship, you are being okay with it. So this is like almost like the best version of yourself um, or the way you'll handle this. You'll be very proud of yourself to know how you handle this sort of situation. I will leave your reading at that though, Virgo. So I do hope it has been helpful. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading and if you would like a personal reading catered to your situation, please feel free to be in touch. Um, otherwise, I do hope you have a fabulous week ahead and I do hope to be able to catch you sometime next weekend. So uh, thanks again for tuning in Virgo and for all your support and we shall be connecting very soon. So take care and bye for now.